الحمد لله رب العالمين والعاقبة للمتقين ولا عدوان إلا على الظالمين Welcome back to Iqra, a program that enlightens you about fundamentals of Islam. I am Abu Bakr Dabo, and with me is Dr. Abu Bakr Senghor from the University of the Gambia Law School. Uh, we'll now open you the lines to call and ask questions pertaining to what we are discussing and perhaps what we've discussed uh, previously, that is in a monetary zakat currency. The number you can call is 4375905. 4375905. For those outside the country, the only thing you need to do is you force that 00220-4375905. Doctor, now we continue. Uh, you said if you have cattle, yeah. you only need to give out zakat when you have 30. Yeah. And in that 30 also you give out a male cow. Mm -hmm that has eaten a year and it's in the second year. Until the second year. When it gets to 40... You give out a female cow, female that, has, cow. that has eaten three and entered into the fourth year. Three and into the fourth year. Yeah. When it gets to 50... You, 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 now, when it gets to 50 now, uh, uh, it's, it's either you, you, you either go by 40, you give one, uh, how do you call it, to one female cow in its fourth year, or you give, you, uh, and in fact, it will, it, will, it, will, it will be preferable here because this one is much bigger. But when it goes to 60, then it will be better for you to come and divide it to three thirty, two thirties. Each thirty you give out a tabi'o, a female We cow. We have our first caller, we take the caller. Assalamu alaikum caller. Hello? Hello, bismillah. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Okay, welcome. Yes, thank you very much. Okay. The program is very interesting. Thank you. Um, but I want to ask whether a salary earner can be given a zakat. Okay, thank you very much, Doctor. A salary earner, yes. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Doctor. That's the question. Thank, thank you. Thank, thank you, you very much. much. Uh, a salary is not subject to zakat unless you're receiving a fast salary. Every month you make some savings. Like if you keep on saving every month, you save thousand or ten thousand, uh, and uh, if your savings, with the time that your savings reach the taxable amount, which in the Gambia, and I repeat, in the Gambia is fourteen thousand seven hundred seventy-five. Anytime you have this in your amount or more on your bank, fourteen thousand eight hundred and seventy-five. Eight seven five. Yes. Fourteen thousand eight seven five. Yes, yes, and I will come back to explain why. But if you have this in your amount, remember the very minute it hit this amount, then you start counting. One year after, you understand, it, uh, no matter how much it has increased in the amount, if 1,000 million, but the, you start counting now from the very moment you reach uh, 14,875, then now if you reach that one, that if, you, if, if it is one year now, uh, you give 2.5%. And again, this 14,825 is calculated like this way. Like I told you before, mm -hmm. the standard dirham you know in the in islam they said every 200 dirham or 200 dirham is the minimum amount which is taxable what used to be called 200 dirham and this originated from pure silver and what used to be called 200 dirham or standard dirham is equivalent to 595 gram silver and 595 gram now if you want to know you know 595 gram is the minimum taxable amount in terms of silver how much in the lesser term in the paper money Look, go to the market and look at the price of silver. You understand? If now it's five, 25 dollars per gram. And then, then you multiply 25 by 595, give you 18,000. Uh, uh, sorry, 14,875. I think somebody else is in the line. You take the call. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum assalam. Bismillah. Hello, I'm the, I'm the person who made a call before. Okay. My, I don't think Dr. Abu has my question. You don't think? I don't think you understand my question. Okay, what is your what, question? What, what, what are you trying to say? What I mean, uh, people who receive cash. Cash. So yes. Yes. If, if will the salary and also is it also part of the categories? Yes. You don't. Be, you are, to be better. I'm afraid you don't understand. What he's saying is, yeah. if you earn even ten ten thousand dollars every month. Hello. 
What? Yes, you can so, put so, you can sorry. put on the phone and we'll answer you, please. No, just sorry. I said, but whether a salary earner can be given a zakat. Oh, oh, can be given a zakat. Oh, yes. Thank you very much. We didn't ah, ah yes, 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 yes. Thank well, you. Thank you. Well, that's another issue now you are yeah. touching. So, well, of course, sometimes a salary can be given a zakat because the, the eight categories mentioned in the Holy Quran, al fuqra al masakin mm -hmm. earning salary does not mean that you are out of these categories. Poverty line. Poverty line. I mean, I mean earning salary, most, of, most Gambians particularly, the salary will not stay in the bank for more than one week. So, I mean, uh, and, and, and so yes, if salary honor can be given zakat, <laughs> although not every salary honor, but most salary honors can be given zakat because they deserve it. Because you, the difference between fakir and, and, and miskin now, the ulama have different opinions. Some say the fakir is the one who has some, but what he has is not enough. Mm -hmm. Does very some basic he has got, but it's not more than it's far from being enough. Mm -hmm. The miskin is the one who doesn't have anything, mm -hmm. or others are saying the vice versa. Uh, but they're saying that uh, another difference is that the, the miskin is always open, okay, could, could keep on asking. The fakir cannot ask because he feels shy. Okay. Uh, but many Gambians are either fakir, fukara, or masakin. I guess somebody is, is on the line. On the line. Do you, no, you, you can continue. Yeah. So yes, salary honors can very well be given zakat in this country. Yeah. Okay. And now you, you, you. I would like you to repeat again mm. uh, how you get to that fourteen thousand. Yes, it is very important. I want people to understand that miate dirham. In all the Islamic sources, you are told that the minimum taxable amount is two hundred dirham. This was a reference to silver. It originated from silver, and what. What is the, quant uh, the equivalence of this dirham? When, when dirham becomes, uh, let's say, uh, uh, official currency, it used to, it is the equivalent of 200 dirham is 595 gram, pure silver. You know that, in fact, sometimes silver can be in the form of, uh, uh, how do you call it, uh, powder, mm -hmm. you understand? So if you have up to 595, it becomes dust. Uh, dust. It is subject to zakat. Mm -hmm. So f paper money was never meant, but paper money became, uh, as a, by analogy, mm -hmm. was adjusted to silver. That in order for you to know how much of it you should give zakat and when you should give, go back to the origin. And the origin is, four, is, is 595 gram. So the origin is 595 gram in every country, in Gambia, in America, in, in, in Indonesia. Like if you're in the USA, you want to know how much you should give, what will be the, 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 the taxable amount in terms of dollar, Go back and look at the, the price of, of silver in the market as per dollar. If the price of silver in the market is, is, is $1 per gram, then $595 becomes the, tax, the minimum taxable amount. In our country here, as uh, the blacksmiths, I, the last time I mentioned Sam Bo, one of the leading blacksmiths in this country, um, I went myself personally to find out. Mm -hmm. And I called also pastor to find out, and he told me mm -hmm. it's still twenty-five dollars. Okay. So twenty-five dollars, therefore, by five hundred ninety-five, will yes. give you will give you fourteen thousand eight hundred and seventy-five dollars. Okay. I mean, this is straightforward. Okay. Yeah. Now, but through this arithmetic, mm. you can understand that the prices could vary from country yes, to country. Yes. Yes. In fact, take up the example of gold, for instance. Gold keeps on changing. I remember the first time I asked for the price of gold, it was five hundred dollars. Uh, uh, per gram. In fact, 100 dollars per gram. The next year, 500 dollars per gram. This year, when I consult, co co consulted the same black cement, it is 1,000 dollars per, per gram. So, in other words, and in the case of gold, 20 it was 20 dinar. Again, the origin is gold, and 20 dinar is equivalent to 85 gram. You, under, you understand? So, what is the what is the what is the equivalent of 85 gram in terms of paper money? Go and look at the price of gold as per gram. Today, this year, according to them, is $1,000 per gram. So in other words, $85,000 worth of gold, or, or, or you know, is, 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 or the, the price of 85 gram today is $85,000. Okay. Last year, it was half of that. Okay. So th th it is therefore very important, very imperative, that the researchers, the speakers, before doing research, they go and check the market value. The market value is there because remember that the paper money was never meant before. Okay. So it is as a result of analogy okay. that paper money came into the picture. Allah, Allah. Thank you very much, Doctor. That was very explosive and very in, uh, uh, containing, Rada. Uh, this is all we have time for there, viewers, for to this episode of Ikra. We thank Doctor very much for doing justice to this topic. Inshallah, when we come your way next week, we will uh, go further into cattle, then the comments, and then the other things that is trade uh, and what uh, you should uh, give zakat out of. 
అంతటి నడు టైం వేసే 